God, I hope I remember how to do this. Hi, fiber people. Oh my goodness, hello everybody. <laughs> we are back from Denver. We're back, I'm so excited to be here. It has been three weeks. I think it's been a month. No, two weeks was last week in Denver. I know, but we didn't podcast. Since we've podcast, it's been a month. Three we weeks. missed one. No, we didn't miss one. We missed, yeah. our last week would have been. Like last week would have been two weeks. This one is three weeks. We should have podcast before we went to Denver and we didn't. Oh, it's we been a month. That was our schedule every two weeks. Yeah. But we didn't have a lot of knitting. Look at us. Light, light, dark, dark. Oh, look at us. We're like a checkerboard. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys look at see our cups? Spring cheers, everybody. Natalie mm. has done it again. What? How cute are the yarn ball flowers with the little bees? Could the colors be more pretty? So beautiful. So she said this is like her Mother's Day design. So happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. My boobs look good in this bra. I got a new bra. Jode. Don't Looking they? Good. Yeah, look good. It's deceiving because this is not really what Everything happens. in here is deceiving. That's what bras are all about. Totally. Deceiving. Oh my God. I might Looking be good. Anyway, uh, Denver was great. Um, yes. Denver... Oh, Denver didn't. I don't disappoint. even know where you, I don't even know where you want to start because there was so much fun yeah. stuff. It's just fun to pack your bags and go away yeah. for a week. Although it was work, like it was Yeah. It was uh, work. Yeah. It was more than my normal J O B. Yeah. It was more hours. It was like an eight to five. What? It's like a real world. <laughs> totally. No, it was fantastic. Um, got to see all of our friends and eat chocolate all day long. That was my favorite part, seeing everybody again. It I really missed was. them. It really was. Yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. So we did get to go film a new summer season of Off Our Needles. Yeah, it's going to be Which we are so excited about. We filmed nine. Nine episodes. Yeah, two more than last time. Yay! Um, which is really fun. Uh, so lots of work, lots of the work leading up yeah. to it. You'll fun know, work. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have a ton of knitting to show leading up to it, but we've made up for that today. We've totally made up. You people said, we want knitting. Yeah. We brought the knitting. You got it. We you want it, Pontiac. You got it, Pontiac. You got it. You got it, Pontiac. Um, we we brought yarn too. There's a gigantic. You know, Eric from Six Plus Twine calls it the haul, and I feel like it's a haul today. It is. Um, but we also have some amazing people that have sent party in our mailbox. I know. So we've got some beautiful prizes to show too. Yeah, which is awesome because we're gonna have chosen our sock bash winners and we're going to go to the Ravelry group and if you've participated in sock bash you may hopefully fingers crossed you see your name yeah yeah as one of the winners and so I have, I have two shawls to show and two socks oh my gosh mirror I machine I actually um once we finished our craftsy work knitting I just cast on willy-nilly all I kinds know. of stuff crazy do you know what's funny I don't always I don't do that no I might have three or four socks on the go that, that, that are stagnant that I haven't looked at for a really long time. But I'll have one, like maybe two shawls and a sock or two. Yeah. I don't go crazy. I did go a little bit crazy. Somebody said, how many sock needles do you have? And I was like, well, I don't know because they're mostly all on socks. Yeah. Um, and I did get a couple new sock needles, so. We did. Yeah. Tracy's going to, we're going to talk about amazing new sock needles. I think so. Every, you know, they're just a new to us, and I think lots of people have started using them, and um, I can't love them anymore. Wow. They're really right. hitting the mark for me. Um, well, so what else did we do? When you're in Denver, we got to chance to visit some friends. She smoked pot a lot. All day, every day. Um, we did. We had dinner with... We, we went to Knit Night. Okay, let's start. Okay, we went to Fancy Tiger Craft Knit Night. We did. We met new friends. We met our buddies. Yeah. Who brought chocolate, so thank you, ladies. Oh. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. And then, um, and that was awesome. Shayna, Shayna uh, gave us a little heads up on another local yarn yeah. shop, and we feel like we're doing the Denver yarn shop tour. So now we've hit a couple. Yeah. And maybe every time we go, we'll just hit a new one. Yeah. So we've talked about Fancy Tiger in the past. Fabulous. And of course, our visit this time didn't disappoint. Yeah, it was great. The yarns. Knit, knit night. Beautiful yarns. Yeah. I actually picked up some books that I've been meaning to buy. Yeah. I bought Lane Magazine. I bought the Coco Knits um, Sweater Workshop. Yeah. It's beautiful. Both yeah. of those were beautiful. And I bought leather handles to make a linen tote and then put these beautiful leather handles on. 
Oh, that's gonna be. And I bought fun. another little gadgety thing that I that I I'll show you with my sock in sock talk. She did. I she loves her really gadgets. I love a good gadget. Um, yeah. And so then, and then we we hit the uh, colorful yarns. We went to colorful twice. yarns knit shop, not once but twice. It and it's is a forty five minutes away in rush hour traffic. And we finished the work, and we just like but worth every, two days in a row, people. Worth every mile. It was totally fabulous. Yeah. Let me tell you, if you're in the Denver area. That is a yarn a shop with a lot of yarn. They kind of had it all. If you can't find what you're looking for in that shop, I defy you to find it Indie anywhere. Indie dyers, tons of beautiful commercial yarns that I love. They had books, they had buttons, they had fiber, they had bags, they had tons of needles. Yeah. They had a big section of local dyers, which I it's one of my favorite things to do on a holiday is to pick up yarn that's local there, right? Guess who's local? Who? People who feel. I can't even. So we tried and it was last minute. She saw we were there and she had a big day with work and kids and she didn't make it back to the yarn store. But next time we're meeting at the yarn okay, store. Okay, that would be amazing. I would love to meet her. That would be amazing. And you're right. Then we, on Friday night was our big whoop it up. We were finished work for the week. Yeah. So what do you do? You go to Boulder yeah. and you visit with your peeps and you have Italian food. Christy and Nicole, we yes. all had dinner. Yes. And that's just a, a gas. I mean, the whole evening just flies by. Three hours of sitting and chatting. It really is. And it just it just flies by, and it was just super fun to see Boulder. First of all, it was fun to see Boulder in the daylight. Last mm -hmm. time we went, it was winter, and it was pitch black. And, but that Pearl Street in Boulder is really super cool. Way we were thinking we are. way cooler than we are. Totally. <laughs> we don't need an area that cool, yeah. but it was really fun to go there. But streams and we had and, a great dinner with our oh, buds. We did. Great food at Pasta Jay's. Um... Streams and streams of people. Great, Excellent people great, watching, yeah. which I love. Yeah. Bring the sunglasses. People watch all day long. I know. So that's what we've been up to. I hope you guys have been knitting. I hope yeah. you've been having fun with your March sock bash. Yes. Um, just before we left, there was two gigantic bags of prizes that were mailed. Literally all over the world. Europe, New Zealand, Canada, and the U.S., all over all over the place so wow. that is super fun to see those starting to pop up on Instagram people are tagging yeah. us and um, we sent out four tightly knit sets from Hugh Loco cashmere as, as right um, I think sparkle oh sparkle sparkle as prizes for the girl from the grocery store knit along I feel like that should be a perpetual knit along like that pattern is just so special I feel like we should always you know and maybe every three months pull a prize name yeah, or we something. could we should kind of well, now we get to add Hohe's Mystery Cal. Well, yes. So now if you go to the Ravelry group, that's our, our newest knit along. I'm mad at Hohe. Why? Because she wouldn't give me the pattern early. I know. I think that's hysterical. I actually... <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful and annoyed. And not really. I say that cheeky. I get it. Um, I was just... I just have no patience. So now I'm done knitting for work. Yeah. And I get home and I want to... Cast and you got on. a beautiful kit of yarn. I mean, I get it. I get why you want to know. My yarn was there waiting for oh. me. I'll show it to you guys. So it's like, oh, he. <laughs> what are the odds? Apparently, I wish I could have seen her laugh. Well, she did. She sent a whole bunch of so laughing faces. So hard when she got that question. Anyway, That's I'm funny. super excited because, and then I thought, you know what? This is an excellent week to get a couple of my other projects really close to the end. It is. I yeah. agree. I've been knitting really hard on other things because... Come the 12th, which is the day of the, the Hohe Friday starting point mystery knit along starting people. I hope you guys have oh, known all about it, started picking your yarns, ordering yarns, whatever you're going to do. That Friday, if we're off to the race. I can't yeah. wait to start. Um, I have, I picked five skeins and never wavered. Yeah. Me too. You're such a liar. Your nose is growing. You're not even sure what you're going to knit with. You know what? I just have. And that's okay. It's totally fine. I think I could literally pick half a dozen color combinations that I would love just as much. Yeah. Um, and I think the thing with a mystery knit along, I've only done one, but I think, I think the thing to remember is if you love that designer and you love their work, you know, you, will you should it. feel confident that it's something that I think you're going to love in the end. You know, if you look at Stephen West's mystery knit along, they look like Stephen West. Yeah. You're not surprised at the no, end when you're he's done. He's not all of a sudden changing his design stuff. Yeah. And Helen, her beautiful mystery knit along, yes. Helen Stewart, curious handmade. They look like how like they look like her. Yeah, I agree. In the same theme, and I don't want to say like the, the same, but they're the style. But you can of, tell when you finish. Yes, it's that designer's you don't, design. Yeah, totally. So I know I'm 
totally confident that it's going to be such a fun time well, knitting. Not for a second have I ever thought with this, mm, I wonder if I like it. Oh, no. Well, I know. It's going to be one of those, yeah. oh, my gosh, it's my favorite. Totally. So I'm just going to pick five colors that make me feel good. How he's actually got a great sheet on how to, you know, how, what to expect. Lots of garter stitch, no short rows, um, how the colors should play together. And one of the lines in it was, pick things that you like to wear, those colors that are going to go with your wardrobe. Yeah. And I actually had an initial uh, grouping of yarns, and one of them was a neon green. And I loved it together, but then I thought, you know what? She's totally right. I'm what not going to wear that a lot. Yeah. So I, because this is a gigantic wrap, I, I want it to be cozy and squishy, so I, I think I'm going to settle on these yarns with cashmere. Yes. I think that's really going to be my thing. So anyway, super, super, super exciting. And I can't wait for Friday. I Today's can't wait for Wednesday, Friday. May what? 10th? Yeah, 10th. Yeah. Two more sleeps. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Should we talk uh, about our knitting? Let's talk knitting. I got some, any FOs? Let's do the FOs. No, do you do have any you FOs? Have? No. Do you have one? Do you have any? No. Me either. Okay, so I'm going to show you my bit. So works in progress. Uh, the Genesis wrap. <laughs> No, I thought you said something else. The Genesis wrap. Okay, so you guys remember I'm using a combination of Lolo. This is so pretty, Jody. Pretty little zombies that we love. And then a mini of each of the colors that were pulled out of here. Gosh, those are pretty. Aren't they? So gorgeous. This is my favorite. Is it? And that yeah. one's Shaboom? Or I don't Tourmaline? Know. Tourmaline. Blue Tourmaline. Blue Tourmaline. Yeah. But how amazing is that? Okay, That's so gorgeous. last time I showed you, I had just cast on. Right? The little tail. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Is that Beauty School Dropout? Yeah. Boy, that's awesome. So I'm following her design. I'm just not weighing my yarn. So it's going to be the exact same shape. I'm following her pattern. You're just adding your stripes wherever? I'm just, actually, I'm adding it the same amount of number of rows each time. Okay. However, I think it's 25 or something. Because I couldn't find my little pocket scale, so I haven't started mine yet, but I, I've got all my balls wound. Yeah. So 25, which is 50 rows, 25 garter bumps Okay. in between. Okay, well then maybe I'll start without worrying about my but scale. Look at that. Although and I do then, love her method. And then look at Jody, that's so pretty. And so what's this green one called? Is that um, yeah. Ow I Feel Good or, you know, I don't remember. Isn't that bad? We said it last time. We did say it last time. I kept, I don't know what I did with the ball bands. I think it's... Okay. Ow, I feel good. Yeah, I, think I think that's it is. the one it is. is. Yes. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is that one. Yeah. It's a really pretty green. But look how pretty that's coming Jody, out. it's gorgeous. I want to see if... Okay. <laughs> I actually... I still feel like I want to knit a sweater in Pretty Little Zombies. Oh, I, you would not be disappointed. No. It really is such a pretty speckle. I love the colors in it. And I just think it would be a really cozy kind of little cardigan. I do too. Yeah. I would, I would love like a fingering white cardigan. I don't want to yeah. ever knit it. Just as long as someone knits one for you and gives yes. it to you. Yeah. I'll buy the yarn. <laughs> I'll buy you a present too. Um, <laughs> yarn and a present. I'm just loving this. So you yeah. haven't started. I just wound my yarn last night. I know. Yeah, I'm having fun with this. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm having fun with both my shawls that are on the needles right now, so I'm going back and forth because they're very different. Okay, well, I have one I can show you. Where is it? Right here. This one's in my little fringe bag. It outgrew the bag that I was initially using. And this, you may have, if you guys follow on me on Instagram, that's probably the only place you saw it because this was a new, a new cast on. Mm -hmm. So this is the bendy arrow. Oh, you bound off. I'm, I'm on the short section now. I'm on the skinny end. So now I'm just heading to the home stretch. I feel like this oh. sucker is going to grow a lot in blocking, I hope. Well, I will, what needle are you using? A four. It said in 3.5 in the pattern. I'm using a 4.5. Well, I was worried about yarn because I don't have, I only have one skein of each. So do I. I'm worried about yarn. Yeah. I, it'd be interesting to know what happens with, yeah. so, I mean, I'm really betting that it will stretch a lot. Gosh, the it's beautiful. colors that I use are, um, Fringe is the navy from Yarn Ink. Yeah. 
in her sock base. Isn't that a perfect navy? Oh and we've talked God. about that before. It's so it's gorgeous. It's the perfect navy. It's so gorgeous. And then the brownish color is actually a naked um, yak base. It's undyed. It's from Lolo Did It. It's 60% merino, 20% yak, 20% silk. It really looks great. I don't know if it? you can get an idea of the sheen of it, but you can definitely tell that it's it's just a special. Why is yarn. yak? I thought yak was brown. It is. Well, so that's looks... what's turning. That's why this base is this color. I'm pretty sure. All yak bases look like this until you dye them. Well, I thought it looked. This is very gray. It is a grayish brownish color. Yeah. Okay. So that's not dyed. I would have to double check with Lauren for sure, yeah. but I don't think so. Because the only yak it's that I've naked seen, yak. the only yak I've seen is that really leans towards the the taupe. Well, I wonder, have you seen it in person or just online? Yes, in person. Okay, so I don't. I think that's what this looks like. No, you think this is well? This could be the lighting trace too. Oh yeah, down no, here, right? Fabulous basement. You lighting. would know. Naked yak implies it's naked. Yeah, no so dye. that's what I'm assuming it is, and I have to say, I love it. You can feel the drapiness. You can feel that this is not just merino. That silk and yak totally make it amazing. So, and I'm having lots of fun with all the sections and the striping and the short rows. There's German short rows in this and, and this. Aren't ice. those fun? Yeah, super fun. I've only done them one other time, but they're amazing. Yeah. And when you do the pattern, you end up with an I-cord edge. Can you see that beautiful little kind of like a rolled edge there? Boy, it's that smashing. Okay, that is slick and easy to do, I and it really gives a finished, beautiful. Edge I don't know to why work. more designers don't use the the why edge like that. I'm gonna have to remember this for certain styles of shawls. Slipping three with yarn in the front mm -hmm. each time you, and mm -hmm. then you knit it the other. And you're way. just creating a nice little I cord edging. Oh. So this is really fun. This is the project that I'm I want to bind off before the Hohi um, knit along. Yeah. Although I have to say, I think I'm a few stitches short when I did my bind off. I don't know. So I'm really, I love it. I think it's beautiful, but I'm really just hoping it blocks out bigger than. And because it's not lace, you're okay with a few stitches off. It's right. one of those patterns yeah. that if you're a few stitches off, just keep going. Yeah. I sort of fudge the decreases a little bit. It should be the same length by the time I'm done. Yeah. Um, but I'm really enjoying that. So that's a pattern by Charlotte Bory. I think it's beautiful. I would love to knit it again in sort of a bright combination. Um, oh, but yeah. I really love this neutral one and I think it's I think it's gorgeous. Okay, do you want to see my bendy arrow? Yeah. Okay, so today's Wednesday. Um, we hadn't really discussed it and firmed up our details for podcasting this week. No. But normally it's Thursday, so I was just yes. sort of thinking. So I'm at a really <gasps> Jody. I'm at a really funny spot here where I'm doing the, the short rows. Obviously you can't be at the oh, end. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you're in the middle. Oh my god, this is Beautiful. Okay, so I don't think yours is that much big, bigger than mine. I don't think so. But this is so... Look at the speckles. Speckles are everything for me right now. Okay, but can you even? This is your little sister, Hugh Loco set. Hugh Loco little sister in the sparkle. This was my original oh my gift God. from Nicole. But then look at this. It's so beautiful. Okay, oh. the sparkle and the speckles... And all those stripes. This, S S S. This this shawl is combining so many things I really love yeah. that I'm finding out I love about a shawl. Yeah. The crisp stripes. Me too. Um, the color blocking. You know the big blocks of switching your color. Yeah. And then again the eye cord, which is just stunning. Do you ever go into yeah. Ravelry and check out the projects of what you're knitting? No. Like you pick a never, pattern. I've never. You done never that. ever do that. So I was in there just looking at bendy arrow combinations, and somebody did. Right after you finish, right at this point here, mm -hmm. uh, a big stripe, a V of another color, like they just popped in another color. Nice. That looks really good. I was actually thinking it might be fun because there's three little stripes at the end to, to make one of those a pop of color. Sure. I probably It looked won't. really pretty on this arrow part of it. Yeah. It looked really pretty. So I think this is this one is of those, so fun this use. is one of those patterns you can use minis. Yeah. You can use bit scraps if you've, you could make it a scrappy project, but you really, you only need two skeins of one skein of, of a different color, two different colors. Oh, I'm loving the size already. Yes. Like from the tips to past my shoulder, like you guys. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to block the shit out of this. No kidding. I'm right? blo Yes. The bigger, the better. I'm soaking it. Always. <laughs> what is it really? Um, I'm um, just going to let that one hang there for a um, second. Yeah. So I'm just going to block this out um, because I, uh, I just can't wait to wrap it. The charcoal up. gray is unbelievable. So knitting this again, if I did have, you know, maybe I would go up a needle size. You're doing 4.5. Yeah. Yeah. And see my, yeah, you know what? But as you can see, my yak, I only have like that little tiny ball and I'm not done yet. I actually think you're going to run out. So I don't know how much bigger you can it's really go. It's those three stripes at the end. Well, right? I have more navy. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to keep going. And I, you I, can fudge it, right? You like, can. Because you're in the decrease section though, you can't really just keep going. Lots of shawls when you end on the big side, you can keep going. But now you're decreased because you're, as you decrease. There's nowhere to add length or size to not your really. Unless you do it before you start the decreases. Yes. So that's a place to, to remember for next I time. just know a 4.5 uh, fingering weight is, is what I, or using fingering weight yarn is what I really love. Which is what I would normally do. Yeah. So I yeah. don't even follow the pattern instructions when it comes to needle size. If yeah. it's a fingering shawl, always well, fortify. Although, since we were talking about the Hohe mystery wrap, it's. 1500 meters or 1700 yards, something like that. Yeah. If you go up too many needle sizes, it will be gigantic. I think she's asking for a four. If yeah. memory serves, yeah. I will stick with a 4.5. I think, oh, will you? Yeah. I'm going to do four. Are you? Mm -hmm. For yeah. that many meters, I feel like you, yes, I do. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Um, it's not going to get you a substantially bigger shawl, but I just like a little bit more gauzy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it does open up the drape, that drape, those stitches when you block it too. Yeah. So even though I don't love it before it's blocked, I'll see how much I like it when it's, I, I, I love it after it's blocked. Okay. okay Funny, those, bendy those are beautiful. Arrow. Those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I do have the start of a whip. I got a haircut. Do you remember last time I was growing my hair yes. and it looked like I had um, a bowl cut? I, and no one really said anything. No, no, no it, didn't. it didn't look like a bowl cut. Um, I, would I got to the point where I'm thinking, why? growing my hair right why were you growing you've never I just you haven't had long hair since high school like 21 or 22 years old right um I didn't feel myself yeah I think this seems to be more you I love the you've got naturally wavy hair yeah. and, I, and it kind of just sticks up like that mm -hmm. you don't hardly have to do anything no your hair is pretty effortless you're very lucky that's you what I just mean go, like why done. would I try and go through that and it's like doing your hair every day and then yeah so only if you don't really like it I so if you this. love this it looks so good on you and it looks like you Okay, what have you okay, got? Okay, so I have two more little whips. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you know how when you're knitting, sometimes you just kind of lose your mojo or your inspiration or something like that. There are like, days that go by that I haven't knit because I'm just like, Meh. Right, and if, if all you have is 20 socks cast on, maybe you're going to lose your mojo a little bit, right? I think, this is, what, this is what I was thinking, I think the perfect counter act to losing your mojo is casting on a teeny tiny sweater. The, I didn't see the stripes. What? I saw this section. Yeah, so the last time I showed you, this is something nobody on the podcast has seen either because it's a new cast on. Um, our, oh my god! I know, right? This is the Flax Light by Tin Can Knits, which is a free pattern. Um, so you knit it in fingering weight yarn. Yeah. Uh, this is 100% Sweet Georgia yarn that I'm using. So it's all her Tough Love Sock, which is a beautiful merino nylon blend. It's one of my all-time favorite yarns. Is this a mini? Slash? These are, yeah, these are Party of Fives. But I have several Party of Fives, and I just kind of put them in a bucket. So these don't, these aren't in a set. These are all different colors. Does the pattern tell you to put stripes? No. The pattern is a top-down raglan I guess you could say vanilla sweater. Yeah. There's no cables. There's no patterning. There's a little bit of garter stitch. Can you see that garter stitch going to be running all the way down yeah. the sleeve? So it's not really vanilla, vanilla. You do get some texture, but it's super fun because you can play. You can play with it. You can do color work. You could do an intarsia like star. You could do whatever you want to do. I wanted this to be kind of sporty. It's for a little boy, so I just decided. Stripes. I think stripes are really fun. Are you continuing stripes or will it go back this to This is, I've just started the dark blue again. So this is it for the stripes. Oh my God, it's so good. 
I kind of think I was trying to think sporty and fun. Um, this is for our neighbor. So when we've been living in our house for 26 years, when we moved in, the same family was across the street. They've been there for as just a little bit longer than we have. They're the only, the daughters of that family are the only babysitters other than the family that our kids have ever had. And they used to get up, you know, when they were teenagers and they would come over in the summer when the kids were still home and I would go to work. They would get up at like 8.30 in the morning and come over and babysit for the morning. Um, they're amazing. It's an amazing family. They're amazing people. She, so the oldest daughter has just had her first baby. I can't believe they're that old. And he's a little boy. I know, married. This is the first baby. So I, of course, you hear that and you think, oh my God, I have to knit them something. <laughs> what am I going to knit? So I will definitely be knitting matching socks to go with these cute little shoes and maybe even a hat. I was gonna say, I do the hat before the suit. Maybe even a hat. I just think it'd be really cute to see him sitting down with the sweater and then his little rainbow feet sticking up. Yes. I put all the stripes on the yes. feet. So these are the colors that I was using. This one is called Nightshade. And that's the base color that I picked. It's really, it's not really royal blue and it's not really denim blue, but it's one of my favorite Sweet Georgia colorways. So you're gonna pick up the arm pit and knit? Yeah. Yeah. So even if you've just never tried a top-down sweater, here's all a bunch of minis that I've got. Wouldn't that be fun if you if you want to just knit a baby sweater just to get the idea? It's a great. The... This is a great way to learn a new technique. Yeah. Right. If you want to learn how to knit a top-down raglan. Yeah. This just knit one. Someone will have a baby at some point. You know, you could knit it in a really cute little tweed sock yarn. Um, you oh could do gosh. with minis. You could do stripes. You could do <clears throat> color work. My ovaries are screaming. At right. Me. I just thought, and let me tell you, I love this. I really just want to finish this and all the little babiness. But it's really light. So if you do the flax light, it's fingering weight. They also have the flax, which is a worsted weight. Pullover. Pullover. They're both the same style. Top down raglan pullover. And both free patterns. And they have five bazillion sizes yeah. in the pattern. So my f I love tin can knits, but I think they're brilliant. Yeah. Every pattern seems to go from newborn to quadruple extra large adult. So you can knit the flax light for everybody in your family using the one-time pattern. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. I know, right? I think that's amazing. Isn't that great? I can tell. I do. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's a lot of bang for your buck in one pattern. Well, and it's free. So even the patterns that you pay for. Why is this free? I don't know. So it's like a sweater and, recipe. And so Tim Can knits... They're, they're one of my favorite things ever. You can go to their website, and I actually think they have some, almost like a little workshop, uh, hints, tips, and tricks to help you through some of their free patterns. Oh, uh, she's going to be beside herself. Isn't it so cute? Yes. So anyway, throw it in the washing machine. This will be really easy to care for. And this is in my beautiful Mrs. Brown's bag. I do love that color. Which this one again? Loose change. Loose change. So cool. Okay, are we ready for sock talk? I have one more work in progress. It's super oh quick gosh. though. Sorry. No rush. Okay. I want to knit a Rhinebeck sweater. Okay. And I want to knit a knit city sweater, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get two out of it, so I want oh. to knit one really awesome one. At least. Mine is going to be a Rhinebeck city sweater. Rhinebeck both. City. It's Rhinebeck going to be both. City. It's just going to be the 2017 Fiber Festival sweater, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put a picture up here of the Ernest Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. Is it a cardigan? Yes. Hold the presses. Hold the phone. That is not the pattern I saw in Denver. No, it is not the pattern you saw in Denver. It's not one of the patterns I saw in Denver. It is all cable. The one we saw you saw in Denver was the Rhapsody in Cable. It was this way. Which I still want to make. But okay. for some reason I have it in my head. I would really like a fingering weight one. Pattern. That's what this one is. And then I, I looked at the pattern and I thought, oh, well, I love it. I love what Hohe picked. It's gray. It's beautiful. I would love it. In my closet, all the sweaters are gray. So I feel like I, I need to pick something else. I know. Um, but I also love tweed. And so I came home and I have this beautiful skein of fuchsia tweed Excuse by me. Hugh Loco. So this is her tweed sock. It's amazing. It's so... I love the little nubbies. Gorgeous. Oops, it's got some kind of hair on it. Um, it's beautiful. So I swatched. I swatched for the sweater. There's a cable, beautiful cable shawl collar. These are my swatches. It is a stockinette swatch and a cable swatch. And 
I'm gonna do oh, it. I'm gonna do me. it in fuchsia tweed. What do you think, Tracy? So this is this is technically the very beginning of my work in progress, but that's happening. That's gonna be my. When is that happening? As soon as I get the yarn. As soon as it shows up. See, I'm not. I'm clearing my whole damn schedule for Hohe's mystery wrap. Well, that's what I mean. I think I don't think it'll be before then. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it will. If you get the yarn, mark my guess. I think it's going to be cast on. The color is incredible. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. So, and that's I mean, the fun thing about knitting. Who cares if you cast on all the stuff? No one's judging you. I used to agonize you. over all the like. I used to agonize over all the colors and stuff. You know what? I'll knit a gray sweater and something else. I know. I just really love this tweed. Really love the hot pink. It's kind of fun. I'm yawning constantly. I, I noticed. I feel like I'm boring you. I need a candy. Okay, let's talk about them. Okay, so I'm knitting a sweater too. I know. And my yarn is also Hue Loco. Wow. And I'm not going to talk any... Did I say it was the boxy? Uh, no. It's the boxy. Look okay. This. Does everybody remember our chocolate taste test? Our tea chocolates? Which I thought later, how mean is that? Eating chocolate in front of everybody. I hope you guys had a chance to go to E8. Now, is it... E.H. Chocolatier, probably, right? Yeah. Artisan Chocolate. So the ladies there. Can you say that with a French accent? E.H. Chocolatier. Is that what you, that might be what it is? The website is stunning. These guys have won awards. I know. This is big deal chocolate. So These they, are they, they saw our taste test, which I don't know if I should be embarrassed or not, but we really loved those chocolates. They said, because you love Earl Grey so much, I thought I'd let you know oh. that we have Earl Grey caramels oh, damn. for Mother's Day. The smell. So these are the Earl Grey caramels. They sent us a box. What do you think? I've been, these came yesterday and they, everybody's been oh. eagle-eyeing them. I'm getting Earl Grey. Oh, you can smell that it's just a beautiful caramel. Can you taste the Earl Grey? Yes. Yes, it yeah. totally tastes like tea. There is no doubt that this is an Earl Grey caramel. This is delicious. Okay, she they use um, one of their favorite tea. They said they thought you might like our latest Mother's Day release. Made with our local favorite tea company. What does, what does that say? Mel? Mem? Mom teas? Blue Flower Earl Grey. Eat Joy from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. Okay, these are delicious. And I don't want to show them to anybody. Right? First, this, first of all, there's nothing like a, a homemade caramel by somebody that knows what they're doing. This is soft and buttery. I thought I needed a second one to make sure. You can totally taste the tea. If you're an Earl Grey tea person, you need to get these. Oh my God, we need to go order some more of these chocolates. I'm at a loss for words. They're that good. Delicious. Okay. Fantabulous. I would buy these for myself. Without a doubt. Look how many there are in there. Mm. Four, five, six, seven. So I'm like ten. You get ten in a box. It is such a treat. It totally is. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I'm going to have to go order some. Mm. Okay. I'm not even drinking tea today. I'm drinking sparkling water. Should we do soft top? Ready? Soft top. Yes, we should do soft talk. My mouth is glued. Okay, you talk about your sock and I'm gonna eat caramels. Look at this bag, you guys. Mm, okay, I'll bring mine up. So Christy. This is amazing, you talk. Who we've mentioned, had dinner with her in Denver twice now. Yeah. She's a beautiful sewist. She's an amazing sewer. Um, so you guys, you got to look at this. So it's a, it's a little, um, I'm guessing a one skein project. You could probably squeeze two in there. It is the perfect soft bag. But look at this. This is a magnet or a hat or mittens. And then you slide this up. It's got the coolest hardware. You guys wait. And then look. Yeah. It's like hinged. That is beautiful. And mm -hmm. the both double fabrics, boxed bottom. She's an amazing, amazing sewer. You guys, there's like a little channel that she's needed to sew for the hardware. I look at this and I appreciate it because I know how much work this bag is. Oh my is. God, this is so beautiful. Okay, so she doesn't sell them anywhere. We're encouraging yeah. her to I feel like this is mean. We keep telling her, you need to open a shop. 
Mm. As soon as she does, we'll let you know. Yeah. Because all the peer pressure is coming down the road. Mm. Right. Right, Christy? So, so I'm going to show this card. Oh, this is fun. Um, this is um, Artistic Yarns by Abby. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show the card because that's the next sock I'm going to show. And she's local to Colorado. She is local to Colorado. Okay, I can't get over this caramel. Yeah. Oh, there's a pocket in here too, you guys. Oh. Okay. Watermelon that alert. That is so cute. Uh, I knew I needed one of these. Look at this crazy ball of yarn. Have you seen a ball this big? That's what you... <laughs> um, but look what it does, you guys. That's so, so cute. Isn't that an awesome self-striper? Yep. So you're getting um, the watermelon flash. You're getting a little spots of black for the seeds and then the white part before it hits the rind. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. So this is beautiful yarn to knit with. It is an 80-20, I believe. Let me is just it? confirm that. No, it's a 75-25. It's 460 yards. Uh, but it is so beautiful to knit with. And it couldn't be more fun, right? Yeah, totally. I agree. I love a cheesy theme. Self-stripers just zip along. So are you adding a contrast color, or are you just going to keep going with the watermelon? No, I will add a contrast color. I don't know what that will be. Mm -hmm. This is what I cast on in Denver. I just had to... Had to... Totally. Actually, she wound it. Um, oh, Carmen. Yeah. Carmen. Hi, hi, Carmen. Carmen at Colorful Yarns mm -hmm. wound this for me. Uh, but I just could not wait to get home. And I'm not usually that person. Tracy's that person. I'm totally that person. I'm not that person because I can get some yarn and I can wait. I can wait three days, right? I could not right. wait for this. Oh. Yeah, it was so fun. So, that so she does a huge line of self striping yarn, which is beautiful. Tons of fruit, tons of candy. I'll show you one that I that I got in my stash. Yeah. We love her yarn. Okay. So I have I have a sock. Actually, I was really hoping that I would have a pair. So this is my uh, apple blossom socks. Did I show a full sock last time? I kind of don't think I did. I, thought, I don't think I, I was don't finished. Remember. But anyway, I've got my second one and I'm on the heel flap. I'm on my heel flap still. So I was really, this is the one project I took with me. You need on that a lot. To Denver. Yeah, so I was really thinking, oh, I'm going to come home with a pair. But not quite. So I've got a foot to do on those guys. Look at look at the difference blocked and unblocked. You guys. Oh, I know. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. So that's the, the whole thing with lace knitting. You've got to block it. Yeah. So I, I love, this is uh, Yarn Ink Yarn yeah. in her cephalopod colorway, which I don't know that, I sure haven't seen that. Maybe this is an old colorway. Yeah. I don't know. But the base is beautiful. Her speckles are amazing. So any of her colors, I think, would be gorgeous in this in this yarn, in this pattern. I do love that. Yeah. Okay, I have another one. Okay. This is the only thing I packed to go to Denver. I packed. Oh yeah. Stacy from Mustache has yes. her gorgeous um, uh, mini, two mini wrapped wrapped together that makes uh, each one makes a sock mm -hmm. and it's a full skein. Perfectly so I matched. I only took one actually. One sock? No. One, one ball. ball. Who's gonna knit with the amount of work we've done? True. But it's true. This. There's not a lot of knitting happening. <gasps> oh my god, this colorway. Right? This is her DFW 2017 colorway. Yeah. And it's called Shiny Happy People. Shiny Happy People. Yeah. The, um, this is almost, a, no, not almost. I have pink left to go before it's going to be a full repeat. Wow. But don't you love how it's going, like three different colors of purple. It's three almost like yellow a radiant and... rainbow. Yeah. Right? But not in your usual colors. This, I, I love this transition between the blue and the, the turquoise and the orange. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I do love that. Well, Stacy, she's one of those striped queens. Thank you, Stacy. Yes. We are having so much fun knitting with this. It's gorgeous. I hope she sold a ton of yarn. Actually, Stacy, we thought of you on May the 4th. Totally. We were in Denver in our hotel. And there was some sort of Star Wars thing going on because I saw Luke Skywalker no. and a girl dressed in an R2-D2 dress. And our hotel, when you go in the lobby, there is an R2-D2, which is a permanent thing, a huge painting of Princess Leia, and a Stormtrooper painting on yeah. the wall. Like, that's permanent decor yeah. in the lobby. So, May the 4th, <laughs> there was a lot of action. Yeah, so I think they were hosting, because there was a sign with Star Wars lettering. Yeah. 
pointing us, pointing you in to a the, direction. Maybe to the bar yeah. or something. Anyway, we thought of you and we hope you had a big success with your May the 4th. Oh my gosh. We know you're a crazy Star Wars fan. And she did these beautiful mini skein sets. I know. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. So that's mustache. It makes me happy looking at that. Totally. It makes me look Great happy. name. Yeah. Hers are amazing. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, we went, like I said, we went to Colorful Yarns Knit Shop one day and we'll show you all the goodies that we bought. You're going to need a drink. You're going to need an intermission for that one. Um, but once we got in the car, I said to Jody, and I start unwinding the skein. I was going to put it around my knees and wind it, but Jody's like, here, I'll, I'll hold it for you. So this is the yarn that I was just dying to cast We did on. have a 45 minute ride. I yeah, mean, 45 really. minutes in a cab can absolutely high yeah. unwind a ball of yarn. This is spun right round, which I hadn't knit with yet. I think oh, you've I... given me a skein and I've never knit with it yet. Well, you know what a fan I've been of Renee's. What? So when we walked into the end and we were warned that the indie dye selection is next Crazy. Awesome. It was just amazing. So when I saw the selection of her yarn, I just about peed. Jody and I, we split up. We're just kind of going to different corners of the store. And by the time we got to the till, we both had two of the same colorway yes. of spun right round yes. in our arms that we were taking home. So okay, which this one, is, one this? is called Chasing Rabbits. And it's really cool. It's kind of this bluish denim gray. And then a cream with some hot pink and neon yellow speckles and it micro stripes it looked like that in the skein what you could tell in the skein that it was going <gasps> to kind of do this shut up people i can't and i didn't want to do total vanilla but you know this yarn's heavily heavily colored so a, a pattern's probably not the best thing either so i decided to do that socks on a plane where you just do one little i table. disagree i think with this even with this heavily variegated you're really seeing yeah. It has a little pop of interest running yeah, up. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the way this is turning out. Yeah. But um, the colors are unbelievable. So I hope they do show up as well as they are in person because I love it. Can you turn it on the back side? Yeah. Oh, my so Just God. like that. Really bold, fun colors. I am going to love these socks. And I'm knitting them on the new. Yeah. So these are the Chow Gu Twist needles, which... You can get in a set. It's like a sock interchangeable needle set. Yeah. And they go from very, like, double or triple zero, you know, like a 1.5 millimeter. Like a lace one. 1.5 millimeter to about 2.75 millimeter. That's as five or six sizes in there. Yeah. Um, they've just recently come out where you can buy them individually needles. So these are interchangeable tips in a 2.25 yeah. millimeter, and then you choose the cord that you want. The cord. The cord is the whole thing, right? Well, the cord is, yeah, but the needle is it's, beautiful. I am love The these, cord is like no other, you guys. I think this is my favorite sock needle. Ever. It comes with the tiniest, oops, tiniest, teeniest, most flexible. You can see when you look at it, it's covered metal. It's like yeah. the chow goos are yes. all like a metal cable with a plastic coating on them. This is the same thing, but it's just the finest, finest needle the metal is so slick oh the point is just perfect it was the perfect storm of cable and needle yeah and you know i've almost bought the set many times but there's at least three of those sizes i've never knit with yeah and never will probably i don't know that i'll ever knit with a 1.5 millimeter needle i don't know that i need that but let me tell you it sure makes me think Maybe I should get the set because I love... But you'll never use... The Actually, that's the same with interchangeable sets for me. There's two yeah. or three I'll use and I won't use like, any. Like, they all come with an 8 millimeter needle. I almost never knit with that. So I, I guess that's... Yeah. No, I know. I, yeah. So so we have so much appreciate now this being able to be oh bought. Oh my gosh. I would say if I had three thumbs up, I would give it three thumbs up. So you buy the needle separately still mm -hmm. and the cord separately because mm -hmm. there's shorter needles mm -hmm. and then the longer Sorry. needles. Yeah. Four millimeter and five yes. millimeter the head. Not... Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering, sorry, when it was four four inches, is that like the size for... That's a little bit too long for the hat length, right? Yeah. To get a circle. There wasn't there a three? Maybe there was even a three. Anyway, we can't quite remember, but we just know it's a mix and match yeah. to get your perfect And when you're needle. buying the cord for these, I'm used to buying Addy cords. And when they say you buy the interchangeable cord is 32, mm -hmm. they mean when you add the tips, you get a 32-inch needle. 
these chow goo ones, if they say 30 inch on the cord, they mean the act it's the cord length. So right, because you're plus, buying it separate now. Plus your two five inch yes. tips to make a 40 inch needle. So that was the only thing that I found different, but oh my gosh, I will be ordering more of these. Love. I'm so glad you knew about I didn't know about these new things. Well, I had seen I it. And you know what I'm using while I'm doing it? Because I'm I've got my cape I'm cabling. Okay. Oh. I'm using my Coco Knits, what's it called? Knitter's Keep. It looks like an iPhone. No, an iWatch. <laughs> Apple Watch. It's I did buy this at Fancy Tiger Crafts. So it comes in this super cool little... Great um, packaging. It is a great package. Yeah. And then it, they give you a little fabric bag for everything. Once I don't really need this. But you get a couple of cable needles, a whole bunch of stitch markers. This is not new, new. I've, I've seen these before. And I actually thought, I don't need one of those. Well, apparently she does. I'm constantly dropping ne needles, cable needles, and stitch markers. So you get a whole bunch of stitch markers, cable needles, and tapestry needles in these little envelopes. So they're all metallic. Because my cable needles are only plastic. Right. So you get two of these are my favorite cable needle, too. And this sucker is, like, strong. Wow. And so I actually think this is a gadget that I will use. I do too. And I've, you know, when I'm going to cast on that Hohe sweater, there's a lot of cabling. I will never use that for myself. But yeah. for you, Tracy, if you appreciate a good I gadget. I have to say, I don't need things that that are silly and don't really do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. This, I feel like, is going to be pretty handy. Well, you're right, because I put my cable needle on my stomach, and yeah. then you've shifted when yeah. I'm in bed. And then it's like, every time you're cabling, you've got to find usually have it, like, in my mouth. I know. And that's kind of gross. Yeah. So this, I'm, I think, is a pretty cool gadget. And... Um, it's not super inexpensive, but I think I'm going to use it a lot. You so can have bought in the package. I can, I, maybe I'll reserve my judgment, but so far I think, I think this is going to be something I'm really going to like. See how cute is that? You just put everything nice. in a little. Done. So I'm, I'm loving that. Awesome. Sock top. Okay. Do you have any more socks? Oh no. my God. I can't believe I didn't start with this. What is it? I have a pair. This is like a unicorn. How much do you love those? What? Oh, I didn't know you finished those. I finished these. They're amazing. This is why I was really hoping my apple blossom socks would be finished. So these were just a little vanilla sock. But these are my first ever coloring book yarn socks. Love her. I This is very soft. This stuff is really beautiful her yarn sock is beautiful. yarn. Yeah. Um, I love them. So these are good vibes. Good vibes is the colorway. Look at that peach. A ballerina pink. Yeah. And really, when it's in a ball, I didn't think it was very obvious that it was No, I think it looks pink. cream. It's sort of whitish, creamish. I love. Okay. These socks were knit out of all the way up to here was half a skein. Of, I split this skein into two 50-gram balls. So I knit an entire sock and then the entire sock up to here. The last pink and oh, so, so if you so now you know if you do double the length of your cuff yeah. in a color, you yeah. can get full two full pairs. Right. That's so awesome. there's still you know this is like maybe forty eight grams of yarn left. I can for sure do a shorty pair or a full pair. Or with you a can cuff. take it. I think you should take this color. Right? I would love to. Okay, good. You take <gasps> that one. And oh then gosh. the um, contrast color I used was pink grapefruit by Sweet Georgia in their tough love sock. So I love these. Yeah, wouldn't that have been sad if you forgot those? Yes, because they're an actual pair. Yeah. And they've been done for ages. That's how long it's been. So while we were at coloring Here. Colorful Yarns. Do you want oh. this too? I do. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So much. So when we were at Colorful Yarns, um, I decided I'm going to become a filter. Oh. Because there's not, there's not enough um, things going on in my life. I needed to add something else. Okay. Actually... Kidding aside, I, needle felting has appealed to me for a very long time. Totally. I would and love to. going gnome, I mean, who, if you're a needle felter into needle felter, I'm sure you've obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, but probably have heard about going gnome, the brand goinggnome.com. Um, they are, they put together the most amazing kits. And you know what the fun thing about it? Look what they've put there. What does it say? Confident beginner. Aww. So, so they rate them. This is very affordable because you know what you get in here? You get everything you need to make this girl. 
which is... She is so cute. Oh, sorry. You need a foam surface. And I did buy that. So you get needles. I saw needles in needles there, Needles right? and everything else. Yeah. I didn't... I've, I've been waiting to open this. I thought Maddie and I would have fun. So... You said, oh, well, you know Going Gnome. And I didn't know the name, but as soon as you showed me the picture... Yes. I knew exactly yes. who it was. Yeah, I don't think I probably would have been able to say the name if you said, what are those yeah. people? Yeah, But then... I know they exactly. Had, who they had several of these. And the nice thing about these is that you can buy... I would love... You can buy a whole bunch of different sets, and it tells you what level, right? As you get more confident, yeah. as you get better with your technique. But I would love one day, and I think they're going to be at Rhymeback. What? I would love to buy a one already done by them. That would be amazing. If I see those, I'm going to do that. But you know what, Jody? This is totally something. I mean, I love yarn and fiber and all that stuff. This is a just like weaving. We had so much fun with weaving. So much fun. I know this. I would love to do this. I mean, mine clearly. Wait, in the next two weeks, this will be. I'll make this. Okay. Maddie and I'll take Tina. You can give me we'll a review fun. and tell me what you well, think. Well, it's not going to look like Because we've never, ever, ever done it. But I've, I've never done it. it done. I've seen it done. The needles are super duper sharp. I think that's the only thing. You just I need know. to be careful. And what else? You know, when I was at five, this was bought at Color Colorful Yarns, but when I was at Fancy Tiger, I was in their felting section and mm -hmm. bought a kit from them as well. Boy, was the girl I was chatting with knowledgeable about felting. That's a really inspirational store because when you walk in, one half is knitting and the other half is all fabric and stuff. So there's a lot of like yeah. crafty people in there. Right? Like a lot of them sew and knit and yeah. crochet and felt. And, and the fiber wall, I wish we'd taken a picture of it. Gigantic balls just on shelves. And you, you know, rip off a big you buy chunk. It from the you buy weight. It by, yeah. So. Hedgehog fibers and all kinds of like Corydale and beautiful. Th anyway. So if I love. She actually deterred me because I was going to get extra needle. So I did buy a set, a box set. It's a whale with a little pointy I remember hat. that. So I bought one from um, Fancy Tiger as well, which I'm also going to do. But she was really great because I, because there's needles where you can get more prongs yes. so fast. She's like, you know what? I don't want you to buy anything else. She said, take this starter kit. Yeah. Which I really appreciate because yes. sometimes people, you know, well, let's see how much we it's can pretty sell easy her. to overbuy. Yeah. Over. Get overexcited about something and buy a whole yeah. Hello Cross Stitch. I'm gonna be. <laughs> but um, she's right. And you know, a good kit. What if I hate it? Well, kind of. Right? Yes. But if I love it, what the fun thing about going back to Fancy Tiger is, you can go get little puffs of every kind. Wouldn't it be fun to get Hedgehog Five, like neon y, cool, and make fun things like that? I wish I But did. these gnomes, everything about a gnome is the most fabulous yeah. thing ever. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I so totally that was agree. really fun. So what else do I have to talk about down here? Would I, what do you have? I, we've had an amazing party in our mailbox. Yes. And it's been a month. And I, I feel like sometimes we need to tell people again what party in our mailbox is. And that is super generous indie makers that contact us and say, can I send you something mm -hmm. on their dime? They say, I'd love to send you something for the podcast. And so we then put that in our prizes. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's why we have all these knit alongs all the time. And it's so much fun to make prize packages and send them out to people. So I love Party in Our Mailbox. And uh, there's some amazing things. And I, I would love to show, share them with everybody. I know, me too. I do have some Party in My Mailbox. Okay, good. Do I you? have also a gigantic pile of I oh Was a Wool Pig. Okay, you to pick something and you start. Yeah. I'll go get your yarn that you pushed. Okay. Okay. So maybe I will start from... Um, if this yarn came right after... Hello. Is there anything in your sheath? <laughs> um, thanks, Joe. This yarn came, I think, like the day after we podcast last time. So it's been almost a month. Look at the colors. Oh, my God. I'm coming back. Can't... You just wanted another caramel. No. Joey. This is from Sheila, who is Bigfoot Fibers. And she sent us the nicest card. Okay, this one's actually a giveaway. This, I'm going to start with the giveaway. So for the giveaway, you get these amazing tees that she sent. She sends these beautiful little bags with rainbow locking stitch markers, which mm. I love. And she sent a gradient. This is called her Day Lilies gradient set. And it's 100 grams, a so four 25 gram 
hand hand done minis. So you've got some semi solids in here, a gorgeous speckle, and my I literally gasped when I opened this. It's so summery and so beautiful. So you can make a million different things with this. It is an 80/20 blend. So if you so wanted to make pretty. socks or something mm -hmm. hard wearing, you could, but you certainly don't have to. There's some beautiful shawls out there that you could mix. Even that little flax slate sweater that I did, you could do a gradient oh, version with something like this. And she also sent some her Bigfoot sock kits. I can't even believe these. This is so beautiful. Okay, I want to get the name right. Cafe Mocha. Okay, I'm not sure which ones. Which one is this one attached to? Uh, okay, they go like this. This little semi solids, the Cafe Mocha, and what's that one called? Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble. She's got nice penmanship. Doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So she sent a beautiful note and some amazing yarns. Those are super, super Aren't they gorgeous? Pretty. Yes. Gorgeous. So how exciting, because she's a new to me dyer. I didn't know. Me too. Yeah. Which we love. I mean, you know oh, we love yeah. to talk about indie dyers and indie so, makers. Thank you, Sheila. Thank These are you. stunning. Um, and I love the note. I love all those person getting a personal note. And she calls this her Yeti sock base, which is really cute because she's Bigfoot fibers. So I love that. Yeah. So thank you for that party in our mailbox. How exciting. I have a party in our mailbox. Okay. So... Okay, I'll talk about this one. Okay. Um, do you guys recall we talked about Frosted Betty on Instagram and she's yes. sugar top? Yes. I sh we showed the little narwhals. She has the most amazing polymer clay. She's given us prizes. I met her at River City Yarn. Yeah. Yes. She's going to be a vendor at Edmonton Fiber Frolic yes. with her stitch markers and her progress. Her bags, she makes bags. And she's super talented. She kind of does it all. She does yarn. Okay, she does it all. This came in my package. That's crazy. <gasps> I don't think I thanked her. This came like two weeks ago. That to me is like the worst. Anyway, well, you'll I'm going to do it today. Yeah, I won't forget will. today. Well, <gasps> maybe I did. Uh, anyway, if I didn't, I'm horrified. But look at her color. Okay, oh. that one's called Miss Bunny. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Talk about summer popsicles, totally. huh? That's like sherbet or... <gasps> and then this one is like a birthday cake. Doesn't it look like cake? And there's some speckly yumminess in there. What's that one called? This is called Miss Bunny. Oh, that's so cute. So I'm super excited uh, to know that she's dying yarn now. She's actually going to be... At, there's an, a retreat coming to Edmonton in November... And she will be there. She'll be a guest. Yeah. But I'm be. excited to see her and, and oh, meet, finally very, meet her. Let me tell you, I'm dying to go to this Edmonton Fiber Frolic. Alicia, we got to talk. You have oh, my to come. goodness. I meant to text you. Oh, my goodness. So Frosted, uh, no, sorry, Sugar Tots, yarn. Yeah, so she's Sugar Tots on Etsy. And she has an 80-20. It's the 400 yards. It's nice. You can tell that's going to be amazing to knit with. Mm. Oh, my gosh, it is. Isn't that beautiful? Like, look at those. And I have to say, this is a really beautiful green that she's got in there. It's like a mint. Huh? It goes really, really perfectly. Like, With it's just very harmonious. I orange. love that. That's a very cool hand skein of yarn. Thank you. So, how fun. Yeah. How fun. So, beautiful mess yarn works. Mm -hmm. New to me. Okay. She's actually got... Now, whoa, we are blowing out the camera there. I don't know if you can see it properly or not. It's They're that bright. super bright and super fun. And this, again, is an 80-20 Mango Tango and the Get Down. And this wow. is from Jamie of Beautiful Mess Yarn Work. She's, you know, everybody that says, you know, I watch your podcast. Can I yeah. send you yarn? That's so lovely and just so generous. And thank you so much. And actually, Jamie's got her own podcast. Yes, she so, does. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry. No, no. Yeah. No, she does. Um and so you can enjoy all her knitting adventures there as well as get yeah. her yarn. So she's a very talented lady. Perfect. Hand dyed yard, making the world a more colorful place one skein at a time. These have to be super popular for her. Well, this time of year couldn't be more better. Oh my goodness. So hilarious names. I love the colors. Yeah. Super summery. And we just feel so treated. So thank you very much. We're going to give those away in our, maybe a sock bash. I think so. Some, at some point this summer, so you yeah. guys can have some great neon it's socks. It's a perfect summer yarn. 
So that's beautiful. Okay, so I don't always show my bag yarn, but I'm going to, what the thing I'm going to show next. Okay. Sort of they go together. Okay. Um, I'm just going to turn my phone off. Um, so casual fashion queen. This color is unbelievable. Um, sh I saw it on her um, sock base and had to have it. It's called Ultimate Booger. Ultimate Booger. <laughs> this is amazingly gorgeous. It's got to be really popular for her. So this is going to be bag yarn. It's What's the last colorway you did of hers for your bags with the gray and yellow? The moon Child. Yeah, beautiful. I'm going to show those today. Beautiful. So I knew when I had, because I, you sort of have to now think, because I have 55 fabrics. Oh my God. I've counted, right. actually, it might be 59. I, I, but, so you have to be a little more thoughtful. About um, not repeating colors. Not repeating. Right. So when I saw this on her fingering weight, I thought, I need that. And I feel like when you see a picture of a yarn... It's not, yarn is not the easiest thing to buy by picture. And then this shows up and it's even more beautiful. Like it's amazing. That's what I feel like. I feel like I need two skeins of her fingering weight because I would like a shawl in it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's a really gorgeous yellowy green, but it's not like, I just think it's a beautiful mix of that yellow and the Cause green. I'm not a huge green fan, but this. And it's, and it's totally right. There is like that snotty color kind of color right there. Right. right? Are these like bloody boogers? Perfect. I don't think so. That's so gross. <laughs> but whatever. So ultimate booger. <coughs> Sheena, who is the dyer behind um, Casual Fashion Queen, yes. has a podcast. You told me. I didn't know. She just posted on her Instagram. A hippie and her yarn. Yeah, I watched. It was fabulous. You guys. She's adorable. She's one to watch. Yeah. So creative. Wasn't she cute? So beautiful. Yes, I really and enjoyed it. And the things it. she knit, I could knit myself. The colors yeah. she uses, I could use myself. It's like hanging out with a buddy. It is hanging I out with a buddy. I really enjoyed it. But, so this I just got at the post office yesterday. Wow. Because it came while I was away and there was a few duty charges. But she added something in for a party in her mailbox. Wow. I don't think she could have picked better yarn. Okay, these are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, they've all got little stitch markers. You guys. Oh, her queen, her crown. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Those are gorgeous. Okay, let me turn them around this way. Look at the sparkle on that middle one. That one. But look at the fair, look at the... Oh my so she God, said... Oh my God, that's beautiful. These two outer ones were a single base. Yes, daydreaming this one's called. Okay, you show that. Let's give each one their moment. 100% superwash merino. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This reminds me of like an iris. You know, when you see the irises and then there's the green for the leaves and... That's really beautiful. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Okay, so you that's guys, beautiful. this one is Miss Jessica Jones. That's really another beauty. That pink is amazing. But look at the speckles yeah. in there, you guys. It's gorgeous. And her, oh my gosh. So I, have, Jessica I Jones. have seen her posts. I think this is a really popular color for well, her. As it should be. Yeah. And this was called Sign of the Times. Oh, that's beautiful. I got to show you this section. So more right like mauve lavendery instead of, that's really gorgeous. That's going to be really tonal, isn't it? With those specks it's of gorgeous. I mean, you can see these are the, these singles are the perfect shawl. They really make beautiful shawls. Yes. Yeah. So or a hat. That would be a beautiful hat or cowl. That's incredibly generous. So Sheena, thank you very much. Thank you. And don't forget to check out a hippie in her yarn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put these down. Okay. Another new to me dyer. This is gorgeous too. I can't even believe how talented everybody is. This is Party in Our Mailbox. So these right, are amazing groovy Hughes fibers. Who is Suzanne? And she's out of New York. And she sent actually two skeins of each of these colors. So that would be an amazing, amazing prize. You'd really have so much. You really could. So she said, keep it, give it away. Obviously, you know, we love everything. I feel like mom would, she's not a purple girl though, is she? This is, this is her singles in the sparkle. This is, I've never seen a sparkle single. Isn't it gorgeous? This one is called, can you dig it? <coughs> and how about this? It's black light reactive. What does that mean? I know what black light is. So you know when that? you go like black lights and you wear white. Like, when I go, go to a rave. And when I go to a rave and you glow in the dark. I think that's what she means by this. Oh my 
gosh, how fun would that this be? This is a really amazing, I love this color. It's tons of hot pink. Oh my God, look when you open it up. Look at that. There's amazing colors in here. So these are all on her single. So this one's regular single, that one's sparkle single, and that one's called Purple Mountain's Majesty, which is like charcoal gray to a dusty purple. Oh, yeah. This Isn't is that just amazing? so amazing, you guys. So I have to say, her dyeing is gorgeous. I think you should absolutely go check out Groovy Hughes There's fibers. There's navy in here. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. These I are just... her super cute tags. She had really neat names for all her yarns and stuff. And so I think so these are pretty. great. Con like, she does lots of wild, and then she she's also how does different. These... Yeah. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Pretty. So beautiful. Okay, what I wanted to give you, we got another party in our mailbox. Okay. By Renee, who is Spectrum Fiber. Do you remember my yes. tainted roses? Well, I had ordered another colorway, and she sent minis. Oh, my God, they're she beautiful. She wanted you and I to have Oh, my a God, mini. they're beautiful. Mint, Miami pink, and lime. Those are gorgeous. God, look how it's blowing it out. Maybe our lights are a little close today, but Maybe. this is a beautiful bright neon. How That really is the color. That's what it looks like How fun to put it in something like... Maybe not necessarily yes. something neutral. Yes. Right? This would actually be a great, great one. This yeah. is part of my, oh my God, I was a pig in Denver, Ohio pile. Thank you, Byronie. Um, our friend Monique, who is Frog Peak Creations. We met at Knit City. Yes. She'll be coming to see us in November. She'll be here in Edmonton. We'll see her at Knit City. I, we'll, I think maybe. She actually, I got home from our trip and there was a package in the mail. I had no idea it was coming. She's doing new bags. She does beautiful bags. And she's doing a new style and she's calling them her cozy campers. So it's an applique style bag. Beautiful. That's a lot of work. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. And they've got, you know, of course, beautiful contrasting lining. Very Halloween-y. Yeah, this one's all skulls. So maybe we should hang on to it till Halloween or maybe not. Maybe somebody wants it now but she's made these adorable little campers with the denim bottom and they're a boxed bag they're like they're the perfect small project yeah. bag i would call them not mini but smaller one so to two skeins these are gorgeous and she sent two of these thank you so monique, monique crazy party in our mailbox thank you so much um a few weeks ago before we left for a trip there was the dfw fiber fest yes and it was kind of crazy. Lots of people said um, that they would love to get yarn for us. If we wanted them to shop if, for yeah, us. Yeah, that yeah. they would shop for us. And Which so, is, hello, crazy kind. Like, so sweet. So sweet. So what we, we did take Diane, who you know as a suburban stitcher, we did take her up on it. Yeah. And so she sent us a package, but she sent us the yarn we purchased as well as a ton of stuff to give away. And I wanted to show you guys... Because I can't even believe I didn't tell you. This sock that I'm working on is Diane's little chicken drawstring bag. Okay. This is awesome. It's the perfect size sock sack. So she sent another sock chicken, red chicken one. Mm. I kept it and forgot to bring it. It's so beautiful. I told her I kept it. it. It's been in your purse Any, Okay, time. next time it's coming. With, it came to Denver with me, Diane. It did. Yeah. Yeah, mine's been in my purse since I got it. But Diane sent... Now, I know I saw this on her Instagram, so it's okay to show it. I want to knit a sweater out of this. This was her yarn of the month. This month. So it's called Granny Square, and she had a bag to go with it. It is a DK, 100% superwash merino. And I opened the package and went, <gasps> like, oh my God. It's speckled So tell me about gray. her yarn club. Is, is it, um, was it a DK I think weight? It's, yeah, I think so. But this was her yarn of the month. She does a yarn and bag combo of the month. That So this one is, is gone out and everybody has it. It's basically on her Instagram already. So you can go check it out. She did an adorable bag that looks like a granny square fabric. And then this was the yarn dyed to match. And she's saying it's exclusive till July. Yes. So if you really want it... Put it in your calendar. We'll message her in August. Yes, let me tell you. This is gorgeous. So she sent two skeins of this, which is 500 yards. It's the perfect amount for a DK shawl. I can see at least a much shawl in that. Totally. So that's an amazing party in our mailbox. We're going to be putting that 
in the prize pile. And Diane also sent her gradient minis. Oh my God, these are Tracy. so beautiful. I was just like, what? Let me tell you, what do I get from all of this? Diane's an amazing diet. Like her yeah. talent is all over the place. It's beautiful. <laughs> so these are her speckled gradient minis. It's called Berry and Black. And it's really gorgeous. I feel like you should open it. I was just going to say, it's they're, resealable. Never, they're never as cute unless you, you open guys, them up. look at all the treats she sent so we can... If, she sent all these amazing goodies. She sews bags, does a podcast, dyes yarn. yarn. Oh my God, look at those. <gasps> That's what? Well, because I'm all about what? The, the mauve and the magenta, or the purple. There's and a the combination of like black and a really dark purple. And she's just sort of done three different intensities of those colors. And I just think that's... That, she should have done un, Find Your Fade Kits. Un... Believable. The, for the this, faded sweater. This, to me, is the perfect kind of idea for so that faded. so faded sweater. I, I I would like to do that so faded sweater, but I want it like this, where all my colors are a color family. Yeah. Instead you, of, like, a green, a pink, You've used the same exact dyes, but applied them differently. That's what I would like. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Diane, you need to what? do that. I can't even. Really, I can't even. And then, of course, it wouldn't be Diane without knowing that she's a bag lady. Her bags. She's a bag lady. She's such a bag lady. This is her zipper one. And this, I would say, is a two skein project for it's sure. so cute. She has the gorgeous D ring with the removable strap. She's a beautiful sewer. Yeah. And she sells these now. I don't know if you guys know, but those light bulb shaped. I think it's on your side. Can you see them? Oh, it's sort of in the package. But you know those. Yeah, they're my favorite stitch light marker. bulb yeah. shaped. So this, I'm not going to take out of the package, so one lucky viewer so, will get to. Oh my God, I just feel so lucky that people send us all this stuff. So how exciting. People, yeah. I love I love being able to send goodies. Thank you. Thank you. And I have Diane one. Diane has beautiful penmanship. She really does. Yeah. She really does. Okay. I have one more. Do you have one more? Party yes. number about? Yes. Okay, good. I just have one more. Me too. Um, remember, this is pottery. Oh, I have two more in line. Okay, Fat Natalie. So everything she does is incredible. Natalie has a full time job. This is her hobby. This did, is her hobby. I did not know that. She cranks out enough mugs and pottery items that I thought this was was her full time job. By the sounds of it, I think she might have almost caused a frenzy at the Fiber Frolic. Oh, <laughs> and well worth it. You guys look at these. Okay, I love these so much. So this is something that's new for Diane. Oh Diane. my God. This is new for Natalie. But look at these. Are guys. these ornaments? That's what she calls them? I think so. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Can you imagine getting these little, uh, one of these and tying it on a present for your best knitting friend? To and from written right on the back of the porcelain. With a really pretty like gold pen yeah. or something. But come on, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's those are amazing. And then I... Such a fan of Natalie's. Yeah. So I was going to give you, if I was picking, I'd pick that one for you and it. that one for you. Well, you don't have to give them to me. Okay, thanks. What I love them. But I love what them. else? Thank you. Do you guys know she oh does buttons? I'm not sure everybody knows she does pottery I buttons. I love her buttons. Oh, my goodness. Those are amazing. Aren't they so? I want to knit a pair of mitts and put these on them. Even on like a hat, don't you think that'd be so cute on a I hat? I have a, her mug with these. Yes. I actually just noticed that yesterday, Jode. What? These are beautiful. Your mug when you came to work. I was like, what's with the skull mug? I love I it. I bought it quite a long time ago, too. Look and at the detail on these. And I, now, how do you, I would just like lose my mind at making decals like that. So thank you, Natalie. Oh and God. guess what? Okay, so we go to Sarnia every summer. Yes. I wasn't able to meet up last summer. Because your husband is from there. Yeah. Yeah. So his sister's getting married, so we're going to start out in Kingston. And the dates that we're going to be in Sarnia for 10 days, Natalie is gone. Oh, my God. I don't even get to have a coffee That's and knit with her. That's too bad. I think she's avoiding me. Take her out for lunch. Well, you know, you never know. Wouldn't you love to have taken her out for lunch? Yes. Yes, I would. Oh, or to go to grab a lunch to go and go down under the bridge and knit. By the river. Every time you guys come home, you love that trip so much. I, I'm dying to go. I've never been. One of these days, I would love to spend a month there. Wow. The kids, Jordan and, and Maddie are thinking about staying another week. Oh, they totally should. That's a Don't, holiday for you. I was thinking, yes. 
how can I make that happen? <laughs> Just one week? How about two? Um, I they encourage should stay for a week. Oh my god, they're spoiled by the sisters. Yeah, I they mean, should. Heather and and oh yeah. Anyway, so remember, sis pottery is more than just mugs. She sure is. Yeah, she sure is. Here, I was giving those to you. Are I didn't you order sure? those. This is a treat for Natalie. Oh my god. Well, I love them. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's it for my party. Okay. Have you heard? I've heard, but I've never seen lavender loon yarn. Yes. Okay. I've never seen it. I've in never person. seen it either. Okay. So she is adorable and lovely and said, I'd love to send a giveaway for you guys. But she sent extra skeins. Sam, love and hugs from Sam at Lavender Loon. Oh my God. This is her posh narwhal colorway. 100% superwash merino. And our tags say, hand dyed in northern Minnesota. How cool is that? Jackson! We're podcasting! Oh my god! This Your mom's, mom's on YouTube! This is <laughs> Your mom's on the YouTube! I'm on the interwebs! Zip it! Okay, Trixie. Is that what that's called? Trixie. Oh my god, that's cute. I would pick this myself. Right? What did she send for free? What, she just contacted you, know, you and said... So she said, me. I want to send a party. Everybody says, I want to send a giveaway. I want to send a party in your mailbox. And then it comes, and it's so generous. So here's what it says. I'm excited to get my yarn to you. The mini skein set is from the Big Lebowski. Use for a giveaway. The other two skeins are for you guys to enjoy. These are a couple of my favorite slash most popular colors. Thanks so much for sharing the opportunity to send you something to share with the nitty world. Love, from, love and hugs from Sam. So... Thank you, so Sam. Yeah. So this is her Big Lebowski mini skein set. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, again, I think let's take it out. It. Um, I could probably pick every one of these colors in a full skein. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look at the cool, the woolly tangle. Look at these groovy little stitch markers she sent. Whole set triangles. I love those are my favorite kind, the little metal ones. Yeah. Okay, so. I feel like I shouldn't screw them up because she says right on the thing what they are. Oh, look at her speckles. Here, grab that. Here. Yeah. Perfect. This is Sam. Now we have Sam's DNA. <laughs> We're going to clone her. We have a hair. I can't even paint my numbers. You're safe. Um, what do you think of that? Oh, my God. And look at this one, the orange. Yeah, I like, love like it. Like a koi fish. Okay, so we look at that. Oh, look at that. Now you screwed it up. Now uh -huh. people are going to get this and be like... No, I think I got it right. I think it was like that. Anyway, stunning. Beautiful prize. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. Okay, do you want to talk about this giveaway that just blew my mind? And this one is... I think this one is... This is the last be, one? Yes. So you were the first person out of the two of us to buy from this person. Luli. Luli. So... You gave me her tote bag for my yeah. birthday last year, and it's um, so beautiful. It is so amazing. Did she put a tag on her? Because she, you know what? It. it was a card, and then it fell oh, down. But you know what I mean? Like, I got it. Not a not a tag, but like she usually. No, here's her card. Yes, shop Luli, but not. Um, I didn't have a tag on it. Yeah, so she's shop Luli on Etsy. Yeah, and we are giant fans of her. She's not just a bag maker. She. I mean, she makes these amazing totes and zipper bags, and, and it's they're just incredible. But what she's now come up with, you guys, you, did you bring yours to show? Yes. Okay. So she makes these um, circular needle holder. What do do with mine? Where does the cords go? Okay. Uh, that This is the DPN case, so there's oh, nothing for circulars. So Lee has sent... A DPN needle case. So one of my favorite things, her work, the quality of everything she does is unbelievable. But her fabric choices are right up my alley as far as my taste. Denim. In things that I love. They're beautiful. Grommet. Leather. Beautiful fabrics. So this has a place for five sets of DPNs. What so do you say? Like, oh my gosh. And she sent five sets of the Zing DPNs. You guys, this is a gift for you guys. This is crazy. This is a giveaway. This is a, like a crazy party in our mailbox. And I feel because not everybody loves to knit with DPNs, I think we should do this as a giveaway in the Ravelry group. 
Digit just for people that love knitting with DPNs. Yes. Because these, you guys, are the bomb. I these are these are the aluminum style needles are one of my favorites for for DPNs. This is what I've been doing my shawl knitting with. Yes. I use their circular. I love these zing needles. Not DPNs, but the circular. The circulars. Groups. Yeah. And, okay, show your kit. So so this comes, and I was like, holy man, this is amazingly beautiful. I think that day it came. Um, I went in to, to buy a circular needle case. So this is the circular needle storage case. And it's the same idea that it's got the denim on the back and it closes with the little leather tab. But it's got room for one, two, three, four, seven sets. Seven sets of interchangeable needle tips. Is this just one package for this you? Uh, yeah. Or you combine more than one. I set. actually have a couple here that I've combined them in the same pocket. Like I think I had nine or ten sets. In one master set? In what yeah. Okay. But they all still fit in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's a pocket oh with all my cords. Okay, I'm gonna go buy one before this goes on the air. You should. Because I don't want to miss out on you that. You should. Not expensive. The I found them very affordable. The quality is crazy. And look how skinny this is. This is a whole set of needles like if you're going to travel or if you're going to go to a you know anytime you go to a class or whatever you never seem to have the right needle pop this in your bag it's like it's a nothing it's done yeah. this an oceans case and and right it'll fit right in your bag so this is going to be a giveaway for the dpn this is the giveaway thank you lee amazing thank so you amazing. so much let's put this card in everything here. luli i love and here's another thing she just came out with a collection of sock patterns. Aren't they Call Lee Simple Socks. Aren't they beautiful? We are going to donate a pattern, that collection, with, with this. Because these are sock sizes. So you'll be set. You can knit socks on DPNs. You've got a beautiful case for your needles. <gasps> and we'll send you the patterns, too. prize pack. Isn't that a good one? Yes. So talk awesome. about party. You know, we're super spoiled. It's been a month. I know that's been a lot. Um, I have a little small party in my mailbox. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Um, do we were tiny in that it fits in your hand? Tracy, what's the name of her shop again? Love by Little Map. It's Michelle. Sorry. Yeah, Michelle. I, I knew it was Michelle. Okay, so I bought a whole bunch of stitch markers because I am so crazy. Okay. She does an amazing job. She's in Singapore. That is crazy. I'm so crazy about these stitch markers with the earring back. So they're like a progress keeper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're like a progress keeper for me. But they're not as fiddly with, as a, like, they're so easy to open and close. Look what she sent for oh a my giveaway. God, that's cute. Three little, like, ghosty mushrooms. I don't know if it's they a remind Asian me of like, sort of cartoon that I don't know. They aware remind of. me of, like, a video game or something. Yeah. They're so cute. Anyway. Oh. Oh, jeez, Louise. I ordered a lot. She's so generous. No, oh, I ordered a lot. We're going to have the these. The socks are super cute. Tracy and I are going to half these socks, and then there's a couple of dog ones. But Tracy, she gifted these to you. What? Oh my she God. said she sent a giveaway. She sent something for oh you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's got my name right on it. And she gave me some of the mushrooms. Oh, my goodness. I think people in... And a bunny and a moomin. People in Asia are I don't even know what a moomin is. butts off that they're like, how... Oh, my God. That's not a ghosty mushroom. Like, how stupid can you be? Canadians are dumb. I know. Old I know that's how it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we're just not getting it, but I love it. Can I just say I love it even if I don't know what it is? Hey, look at these that I bought for us. Okay, those are so cute. Did French horses. Did hey, she send me? French bulldogs. One for each of us. We need to give one to Richard DeVries. Hey, Dick, I've got you a dog. Got you set up. Okay, this is for you. Anyway, we'll do this after. But yeah, so giveaways. Oh my God. Party in your mailbox. So spoiled. I guess that means we better start some knit-alongs. First day of summer, we're going to be starting our second socks of summer knit along. So for the entire month months of the summer season, we'll be doing um, single sock. Okay, and we had another question. Okay. Sock backs question. Somebody said if they knit two socks that don't match in the month of our sock bash, does that count as an entry? I say yes. Oh my god, it's two socks. Who cares I if they don't match? Who am I to say you have to wear matching socks? No. As long as they were started and finished in yep. that month of sock bash, I don't care if they match. No, me neither. No. In fact, so that is how matter. Yes. So absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, the socks are so cute. Look at one. Looks like a Converse. Those are adorable. 
Yeah, good question though, right? It is a good question because it's not super clear. Um, and our theme is flowers this month. So if your pattern or yarn has anything to do with flowers, you get two entries. Or if you can fudge it to make us believe. Oh, or if course. you can just make up a really good flower excuse as to why they're flower-like. Totally. You're in. Um, which is super easy. I mean, you guys, we couldn't be more relaxed. Oh my goodness. We just like a good theme and we like to run with it. So when we say flowers, you could say anything about your yarn. And we're like, yep. Yeah. yeah, just convince me. Yep. Yeah. It's not that difficult. So, I mean, I love our sock knit along. And I, I'm definitely going to be... I do too. Yeah. And you know, it's so much fun going into those threads because everybody, to me, when I see pictures, I'm inspired by other people's knitting. Totally. Yarn choices, yeah. stories. Yeah. Speaking of inspirational stories. Can I just tell you one thing now that we're on Sock Bash? Oh. Debbie Reese has a beautiful new sock pattern and it's flower themed and she gave it to us to give away. Yeah. So that's going to be in the uh, May Sock Bashes prizes. Yay. So thank you, Debbie. Debbie, who is Debbie Reese, and she's half of the Periscoping Sisters. Designer Debbie. Thank she's you, Deb. Our, she's our Vegas roulette oh my God, that sister. Was fun. <laughs> we had so much fun in Vegas yeah. last year. So that's, I mean, Sock Bash Perfect. is something that we get really excited about. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for my knitting. That's it for Party in My Mailbox. I just have a few things that I purchased. I have, oh, me too. Is that what I'm going to call it? A few? A few is a very loose term. I feel like I should save some of these for another day, but I'm... I'll show you. I'm showing you. Sorry, Jordan is like texting me. She's like, I finished my booklet and pass. Can I go home? And then she's like, Mom. And then she's like the wavy head. Hello, Does are she you think there? I'm sitting on my phone waiting for her text all day? <laughs> <laughs> like it's like three seconds later, Mom, Mom, <laughs> by text. It's like... I'm going to take your phone away. How about now our mother has an iPhone? Oh, yeah. So now we get texts from our mother. <laughs> we love it. We got one when we were in Denver on maybe Thursday. Yeah. Have you run away from home? Um, I have a J-O-B. I can't be texting you all day, Mom. Uh, and Stop bugging me. The funny thing I thought of, like, what did she think we were? She knew we were going for Denver. For Apparently we were on a Vegas bender and didn't tell anybody. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That was funny, I thought Mom. that was really funny. Funny, Mom. <laughs> Okay, so. Okay, so we did. I bought some yarn over the last month. Tracy's pile is obscene. It's gigantic. Oh my god. Somebody asked me how big's your stash. I said big enough that I love it. How and... much do you weigh? Yeah, you might as well ask me how much <laughs> I weigh. Jesus, what's your problem? Totally, that's what I say to them. How much? <laughs> how big is your stash? Well, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Let's get real. Okay, so yes, I have been shopping a little bit. What about you? Yeah, I felt fusion. Okay, this is crazy. So I saw her. On, I don't know this. I saw her on Facebook. Okay. She's feltfusion.co.uk or she's feltfusion.etsy.com. She loves hot pink, apparently. Okay, she went with a troll theme, you guys. This is so beautiful. Lady Glitter Sparkle. What? Lady Glitter Sparkle. Okay, even if you're an. Excuse me. I thought you were sniffing your face. No. <laughs> <laughs> sniffing my yarn. Um. Oh, even if you're an adult and you don't have kids in your life, you need to go watch Trolls. I've only seen a few minutes of it. Tracy, I, really, I want to watch it. Nobody wants to watch animated movies with me anymore. Just so put it on. Sad. They're going to sit down and they're going to say at the end, that was good. Do you know how many hours I spent watching Blue's Clues and all this crap that I never wanted to yeah. watch? Now nobody will watch movies with me. I did like Blue's Clues. Anyway. Well, so that one's for you. Really? Yeah. Oh and this God. one is called Hair Up. Okay, that's super cute too. <gasps> it's variegated. So is this striper or? No, I think it's a very, I don't oh actually God, know. Oh my it's so beautiful. It doesn't say. So it's a. Superwash Merino Nylon Sock. It's a 365 okay. meter 100. So it's an 80, 20. It's an 80, 20, 400 yards. That's 365 meters. Oh, I was going to say 365. That's not a lot. No, 400 yards is 365 Five meters. Yeah. This is going to be cast on today. Oh my God. These no, are it's not. Beautiful. No, it's not. I'm it's finishing not? my shawl. Do you have other socks on the go? Yeah. Jody, this is crazy. If I was to pick this something. This is like glow in the dark for your feet. I can't wait. Are to... you surprised I picked that for you? Yes. But I love I it. I needed one of both and I wanted to keep this one. No, oh, I think they're beautiful. It'll go in your stash. You'll never knit it. No, that's not true. That's not true. You know what we can also do if you don't Jody, think you'll knit it's... it is give it away. Why would you think I don't think I'm going to knit it? Well, I'm not so sure it's your colors. Well, Jody, I'm gonna. This is to me, even if you're, if you don't dress in wild colors, socks, 
Like, look at that. That's perfect. I'm totally knitting this. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so hair up. They're both beautiful. This is me in a skein of yarn. Is it really? Yeah. Colors? What's your favorite color? The blue? Well, right now it's like, it's all, just the way I'm seeing it, like the hot pink, the orange, and the neon pink, yeah. and the turquoise. I don't know. It's She's just, amazing with her colors. This, to me, looks like candy. I don't know what kind of candy, but I, when I look at colors this bright, I think, like a candy store. I look at this, and this makes me happy. Right? Yes. I can't wait to knit this, actually. I know. So beautiful. Um, okay. Where do you begin? Uh, right? Where do you begin? Are you going to show all of it? Is that a judgy kind of comment? Or? No. Um, so I'll sit here and have a caramel. Quite a while ago, I saw the the new pet pattern by Susan B. Anderson, her three French hens. You're totally eating another caramel. <laughs> Can you hear it crackle? Can you hear me now? No. Um, there's no sneaking these guys with that kind of wrapping. And so I, the pattern for those three French hens is in Taproot Magazine. Mm -hmm. Only at this point. Mm -hmm. You can get it in the fall, I think, by itself. Susan said it'll be on Ravelry. But I'd never had a Taproot Magazine before. And it's so much more than just the knitting patterns. There's like, there's recipes. It's kind of... It's food, farm, family, and craft. It is a beautiful magazine. It's gorgeous. Look, I think there's something about weaving in here. Mm. Crocheted scarf. That's weaving on the front. Anyway, I love it. So I was, I really, honestly, for being honest, I bought it for Susan's pattern. Mm -hmm. And I did buy this from Barrett Wool. She has it on her website. That's beautiful. And I thought, well, I can't just buy a magazine. I have to buy some yarn. So I bought her Wisconsin Woolen Spun in the Wild Plum colorway. Amazing. I want a sweater out of this. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would be in a gorgeous timber cardigan. Mm -hmm. This is a worsted weight. So I'm gonna have to get, um, I, I would love to knit a sweater out of this yarn. So that's something I'm very excited about. Isn't it soft? Yeah. Like it's wooly, but so, it's woolly but soft. A beautiful twist. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous in a sweater. You better go two to my one. To what? To... Who are you kidding? Tracy, that's what I have left. Four. You were like, okay, well, I'm not going to show this because you've already got no. it. A whole bunch of yours are not here because I have doubles. So you go doubling. Okay, well, I have my first gain of junk yarn. What? Remember we were talking about Wheezy Bat a while ago? And I was like, what the heck is that? So I bought the yarn. That's what it's called. Camper Camper. Wheezy Bat. How specalicious is that? Gosh, that's beautiful. My first ever skein of junk yarn. Oh, that's certainly come not on. my last. Really gorgeous. That is beautiful. Yeah, I sure love a, a colorway that's got black speckles in it. On top of all the bright colors. I love that. What's next? Okay. Um, well, our homespun house sock yarn came. Let's show. This is unbelievable. So Molly's doing a collaboration. Here it is. She's been doing this amazing collaboration with Sucre Sucre Miniatures through a homespun house. And so- How fun is that? Oh my God, these two. Like it's really, they're both so crazy talented. This is a spoiler alert. This was a sock club that Molly did for April? April. Yeah, April. Because it came with Easter candy. Yes. Uh, it came with a gorgeous little tin Didn't of Lindor chocolates, so in an Easter one. This is her gold merino in, in the colorway Starlight Galaxy. Oh my God, it's so pretty. You know what I love the most, other than all the amazing colors? The pop of the mini. Oh my God. And the mini's called Cosmic Dust. So this is an exclusive colorway. I kind of don't think she redoes these. I don't think she does, ever. I don't think no. she does, so... If you didn't order it, I'm so sorry. I would just like to reiterate, all the yarn up until now was gifts sent to us yeah. for to give to you to guys. To give away. So That's all giveaway We yarn. didn't buy all the yarn we just showed you. These are wonderful, amazing, generous gifts. So generous. To give to you. I just don't want and people And I get thinking, just as excited about yarn I give away. <clears throat> I don't want people thinking we've bought 45 skeins of yarn. I just... Can we just talk about comments on Ravel on things? Yeah. I don't want to be bitchy about it. If you don't have anything nice to say. I would never make some of the comments that I feel I see 
written around and not just our podcast not just, no i'm not specifically saying our it, podcast in general i watch a lot of podcasts you happen to see the comments i just feel like if you don't have anything positive to say please don't say it what is the point i just would never put that out there in the world no. i would never do you know what makes i would never f- say to somebody you didn't do that good enough i wanted something different i would never uh you buy too much yarn you do i would never say that it makes people feel bad and if it's just, it's just not kind. No. Why would you be unkind? Yeah. I don't get it. That's probably why I just said that. I don't want people thinking and making bad comments. Because right. it makes people feel bad. It does. You shouldn't judge other people. You be you. Yeah. And I'll be me and we'll be good. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you. Yeah. So let's not judge other people. I am all about, and our Ravelry group is all about, community lifting and supporting and lifting people up and being a positive light. And that's it. And we've said this before. We the have. really great thing about YouTube is there's so many amazing, and that's why we like to sure. share new ones. Sure. So if we're not your, we're not a lot of people's cup of tea. Oh well, that's for sure. So, so we are excited that you saw us, and maybe we're not for you, but we're excited that you are going to find that someone's yeah. for you. I just, I would just never write some of the things that I see out there. Yeah. So Molly's done this amazing sparkly yarn. And then Chelsea at Sucre Sucre Miniatures did this little sparkly donut. It's got the go same it. colors. Oh my God. In real life, you guys, this thing is crazy. I feel like we need to be closer again. I think normally we're a little bit closer. We were fooling around with the camera a little bit. And I think it looks really good still, but I think to show yeah. it up really close. I mean, that's... Your arms are longer. We should get a little selfie stick and shove it out there. It's really stunningly beautiful. So another beautiful kit put together by Molly and Chelsea. Yes. She's another amazing dyer. But, and love seeing her podcast or Hi, her Molly. vlog or I whatever know. she likes to call it these days. I sure love, love seeing that. Okay. Spun right round. Oh my goodness. I actually bought four, but Tracy also has two of the ones that I bought. So I'm only bringing the two that Tracy didn't buy. So I bought three of colors of Spun Right Round when we were at Colorful Yarns. Yeah. What did you get? Okay, so my first one here is called Leapfrog. Oh my God. They're such happy colors. They're so pretty and fun and colorful and like happy. Oh my gosh. Pink and green is quite the combination. I'm gonna move the, you go with the next one. You're You're moving it? Well, I know we're coming to the end, but it's bugging me. Now it's bugging you. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, this one really. I looked at this and thought, oh my God, really? I should have bought a sweaters quantity of one of these colors. There wasn't in this. I was having the hardest time choosing, so I just bought a bunch of single skeins. Um, this one is her clairvoyant colorway. Is that better? Holy crap. Oh, that is so much better, Tracy. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I remember seeing and hearing about Spun Right Round for the first time on Diane's Suburban Stitcher. Yeah, and she knit these socks. Oh my God. It just, I look at it and I think, well, that's too pretty for socks, but it, it might not be. I'll, I might do a shawl with it. Oh, look, it's so not blowing out now. Yeah, our lighting was too close. Sorry, guys. So can we show this now without it blowing out? Probably. Yeah, better. I mean, that pink is... These are neon-y, but... Yeah. Oh my god, they're so pretty. So, Leapfrog was one, and then the other uh, float on by. Oh my god, isn't it funny how you're always, I mean, you're just drawn That's to the same. That's so pretty, that minty, with all those pops of purple. Okay, what did I buy? Frost the other day? Remember last podcast I had two? It's not this. Similar not colors. Sure. Yeah, I re- sort of remember, but I don't know what it's called. But look at this. It's, look at that. This is, she's oh a dyer that I feel like you could do surprise bags and. I would buy you know, a blind like club. Mystery, mystery clubs where you don't know what you're yeah. going to get. Absolutely. This is a dyer I feel like it would be like right up my alley. This is her um, party at my house colorway, which you did in a bag. I'm going to leave that handy because I'll show it. this one. You I, wanted to square. I almost bought a sweater's quantity of this one. It's red and charcoal and blips of yellow yeah, there's and a tiny bit of gold. It's like maroon sort of. It's really, really beautiful. Oh my god! And every time you kind of peel it back, you you see colors that you oh just think, oh, I love it. I love it. 
Party at my so house. spun spun right round was is new new to me. I hadn't knit with it before, and I really love it. Okay, Nicole. Oh, how much do we love Nicole? Robin's egg. Okay, this is <laughs> this is kind of funny. We need we had an emergency Nicole Hugh Loco order when we got to Denver. It was like I forgot to bring. We love choosing favorite things for off our needles, and we'll tell you a secret. We're picking. We picked. Hugh yeah. Local Yarn, because it is one of our yeah. favorite things. That's what I love about Off Our Needles, being able to choose everything yeah. ourselves. Um, and so I have tons of her yarn, but I need, we needed some... Who do you think forgot the yarn? Well, I don't Take know. a guess. Was it on a li my list? Well, you should have put it on your list. Was it on your list? Why is it yes. me? Why is it my fault? I brought all my yarn. We didn't have to buy any. You brought you, you loco Tons. Yeah, no, yeah, I did forget. It is my fault. You're right. I have like five or six games. You're right. It's my fault. But maybe in you know hindsight, I just needed more yarn. But I have to say, so t we were hoping to get more springy, springy summer colors because the colors that I brought maybe were on the little dark side. Right. So these were perfect. Twitter painted Robin's egg, mm -hmm. and we love. I love cupcakes, or we love cupcakes. We love. We love cupcakes. So three amazing speckles. And oh, then, oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, how about this, her brand new, she's genius for this backyard chicken Granny thing. was over yesterday, she saw this, she just about lost Our it. mom has been losing her mind over the backyard chicken collection. Our mom not only has an iPhone now, she's on Instagram. Well, we followed Nicole for her. <laughs> so, this is her golden lace wine dote is that how you say that, chicken? I don't know. She's got five different varieties of chicken-based colorway yarns. And this was a gift from Nicole. She's so talented and so sweet. So and this so is so clever to think so about. So clever. And really, you know, we used to have, you know, you go to petting zoos and stuff. Chickens are gorgeous. The feathers. Oh. She's, and this one, I mean, sh this one really, they all look just like the chicken. They do. So this one's really like warm and toffee colors and then the navy pops in there. So this is her newest chicken. This is the newest one. You guys can go to her site and order that if you like. And I would say- So beautiful. I don't even know what to make with it. I mean, it is a beautiful sock set, but you could do, right? Like you oh, could do- tons. So you get 140 grams. These are two 20 gram minis that you get with it. 218. Hmm? It's 218. PM, you mean? Yeah. Oh, I know. Where does the day go? Okay, so I was showing you guys quickly this um, artistic yarn by Abby. Yeah. But I want to show you the back of it because it'll show you the colorway. It's blow pop. Look at the... It's like variegated red, blue, bubblegum pink, blue, red, variegated. Look at that. She's got a whole line that's candy and they're hilarious they're like 80s like, like 80s retro good candy and plenty she does licorice all sorts so it's really bright with black you she's guys really need good to go to her website oh my god art yarns no. you will see more artistic yarns by abby soon did you order them yes <gasps> so it doesn't really do it justice when it's a self-striping so i can't her wait site to... has tons of great pictures yes. i can't get over these caramels they're they not... taste like my favorite there's tea. not going to be any left Okay, that's it for me, except Mrs. Brown's bags. I want to show you one thing that I bought. Oh, no, we have this too. I'm going to show this. One thing that I bought that I think is really special and beautiful, and I don't know fiber story yarns. I've heard of them. Well, this is their Bramble Gradient Kit, and it is 560 yards, 80 yards per skein. Yeah. How beautiful is that? For sure, some kind of shawl. Well, the color. I love cute. a gradient, this and I just think like this is a, so this beautiful. This is almost like a black cherry. It's that dark. Right? Yeah. Exactly. I just thought that was really, really special. Oh, yeah, that looks it's just what it looks like. It's amazing. Yeah, so I love that. Can we say hi to Maria? Hi, Maria. Hey, sock knitter. Can't wait to see your <laughs> socks. We miss you, Maria. Absolutely. Okay, that's it for me. Yeah, me Do too. You have I have Mrs. Brown's bags. I would love to see that. Okay. Because we're getting really long. Oh, we had a lot of fun thing yarn to talk about today. I'll show my Hohe colors next. Should I show my Hohe colors next? She's time? all, that's all I bought. Like, I'm so innocent. Oh, yeah. 
except these five, Jody. <laughs> Except for this giant pile that I'm not showing you. Jody, this that's is, so beautiful. This is my Hohe mystery. What's the speckle? Pixel. It's beautiful. It's all yarn ink. You can go ahead. She picked... Jackson! She picked... Um, see, that's one way to do it. Have the dyer pick your colors for you. Did you pick these? No, I picked them. They're beautiful, Jody. I just, I asked, so I ordered, grays? I actually ordered three of these, but then gave her a note. Can you make one of them baby pink and one of them natural? Okay. And then I ordered these two. That's beautiful. So I just made a note for her. So I didn't know what the pink would look like. Right. <gasps> it's gorgeous. That's going to be so beautiful. You're going to wear it so much. Don't you think? Yeah. So much. So oldies but goodies. Let's start with those because I thought summer, spring, um, let's bring some color back oh, into our life. Because this is the large size I'm going to show you, but I do have a medium. Um, sprinkles. And who does that yarn? I don't know. Okay, that's really pretty uh, pink. Lemonade Shop. Okay. Spun oh, the crochet. Spun right round. Can you feel I've got a change to Kona cotton fabric? I changed oh, my cotton. Oh, it it's does a, feel different. It feels nicer. In a nice way, Thicker. yeah. Thicker. Okay, Jody, I like that. I and I always do a neutral middle, like a cream or a gray. Can I say how much I love that? Because yeah. I don't like, you know, when you're looking for your little stitch markers or whatever, it's so much easier to find things in the bottom of your yeah. bag when the inside is neutral. I used to do a print, but then I appreciate a neutral, well, so that's what I I have to do. say I love that. Minty speckles. Oh, yeah, so cute. Oh, siren. Oh, my gosh. This is yarn ink. So blue. Blue and purple. With that pinky. Yeah. That's really nice. <gasps> oh, my God. Why don't I remember... This is fairly new. I don't think I've seen that this one in person. This is full bars. This is crochet. This is lemonade shop. But with the Did green... you crochet that? Yes, I did. So what kind of stitch is that? Just a double crochet. It looks really good. This, do you remember this one? This yeah. is one of my original. This was, I think the first bag I ever got from you was this, this colorway. But I just figured it's and that I time of year. And I still love it. It's just springy and colorful. Okay. I love it. Party at my house. Okay. Well, here's the yarn. What did I do with it? Right here. Oh, my God. You need the yarn and the bag. I do. <laughs> I have that. So this is party at my house. Oh, it turned out beautiful. Didn't it? Yeah. Kelly knit, Kelly knit all of these ones I'm going to show you. Wow. Yeah. Um, you guys. Oh, my God. Um, tainted That's Spectrum. Rose. Spectrum. She mm. loves bright color, huh? Gosh. And I did a purple, like a grapey. That is super fun. <gasps> okay, this. what is this? This is lemonade. I'm a big lemonade shop fan. Oh my goodness. Always have been. Top knot. Oh, it's called. The purple on that's super cute. Isn't that? I yeah. used that for the. Yeah. <gasps> this is. Oh my God, I remember that yarn. This is Peggy Jane Fibers. Yes. And this is her I forget. Pop, Poppy, I think. Something with Poppy in the name. Yeah. Okay. Potent petals. Okay. Potent petals. That's really pretty. But this is a plied one as opposed to the single I normally use. But yes. look at the stitch definition. Yeah. Beautiful. And then. Da, 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 da. Another beauty. Oh, wow. Moonchild. That's beautiful. By Casual Fashion Queen. You have a great um, blend of the super brights and the mid tones and then these. Kind of neutral with a little pop. You right? got it, right? Because yeah, it's I not just so. my choice. It's I think so. everybody else's choice. Yeah. And that's another one Jody. another couple of things I want to show you is every uh, <gasps> twice twice a year Love. I do a scrappy bag. And this last time I did it in the one to two skein, this time I did it in the two to three. That's beautiful. So uh, no two bags are the same. And I'm not don't quote me, but I think no two sides are the same either. Right. Definitely. No two, no bag is alike. Okay. Well, that's kind of exciting. These are called my limited edition scrappy bags. So once they're gone, they're gone. I only do this uh, twice a year. They're beautiful, Joe. Yeah. And then... I love scrappy, scrappy things like too. that. Yeah, love. Um, I have a, I listed a few more tote bags. Oh, Jody. In a bit different color combination. So this one has the bright B. I put oh yeah. I put pockets, exterior pockets on both sides. Okay. It's canvas, yeah. canvas top, pink canvas bottom, and then it's got a hot pink 
Okay, that's inside. really nice. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's beautiful the way you've got the pockets and then yeah. the pink and the, everything's going together. And it's got tons of space that you can comfortably like it. You know what I really love? The size of the stitches on that fabric. I did this intentionally. I wanted the big chunky fabric. I love it. The oversized. Yeah, I love that. It's fun because you can play with that. Um, on oh, and, and another flower. one. The blue version. I and love I it. have one with a teal bottom. And that's the same bright bee. Same from exact vivid, vivid Same yarn. exact bag. Same Oh, it's really Same pretty. pockets. So I've got some of those as well. The shop is loaded for, Great. Sp for spring and summer. That's Jody. It. That's it. How fun. Did we Great keep it under job. an hour? We, we knew this would be long. As if. Do we keep it under I mean, an under hour? two hours. <gasps> oh, well, we've been gone a long time. Okay, and these caramels? Seriously? They're these terrible. caramels? What? Um, it's good to be back. It's great to be back. I hope you guys have been having yeah. so much fun with your knitting. By this, I got my swap package. Did you get your swap package? Yeah, I did. We ran a swap. We just, I, so when we were, when I was away, my swap came. Mm -hmm. So fun. Um, and so I think this whole swap experience was pretty good. There's anyway. Till next time. In general, life is awesome. The knitting, our Ravelry and everything is fantastic, so. We love it. Thank you so much for all of your support, you guys. We will so see you. So great to be back. We will see you soon. We hopefully will. with tons more knitting and with a freshly cast on shawl. With that, oh yes, we're going to have a hohi show off my shawl. We're going to be into week two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest so to So we'll see up. you guys in two weeks. Happy knitting. Happy knitting.